for specific example, let R equals to square root Ti plus T minus 1J. Uh, when we have the parametric equation, we will have this one and then uh, by using eliminating the t, we have this quadratic equation with the constraint x must be greater or equal to 0. So this is the graph uh, or represent the parametric curve. Okay, so now I want to show you what is position vector, tangent vector as well as well as tangent line we choose several points of t which is 1 4 and 9 okay when we substitute these values we will have for the position vector we will have here just i and then we will have 2i plus 3j here 3i plus 9j here we will have half i plus g here i plus g and the last one one six i plus g so i can say this one is the position vector while this one is the tangent vector so we go to the sketching we start with the position vector okay when t equals to 1 we just have i which is uh, the meaning of that is one unit in x direction from the origin somewhere here Okay, so now purple color to represent the tangent vector, we have half i plus j. Half i plus j is somewhere here. Okay, but this is not the right location of the tangent vector. We have to shift this one. somewhere here and then we go to the second point which is t equals to 4 we have 2i plus 3j somewhere here and then the tangent vector 1 per 4i plus j one unit for the j somewhere here and then the last one 3i plus 9j and the direction of the uh, the tangent vector as well as the magnitude 1 plus 6 i plus j somewhere okay this is this is really small scale okay. for the tangent line i choose yellow color uh, they are sharing the same slope with the tangent vector this one at this point we have this line at this point we have this line it should be dotted line and here we have this line okay so i hope you can understand now what is position vector tangent vector as well as tangent line